The shine additionally having the lasers can just knock the Gordo immediately back to the DDD. But if our money has enough space, you can go ahead and go to the inhale and shoot it right back. Yeah. Let's see how it goes down first. We're going to FD for our first game here. Hmm. I actually like this a lot more for Wolf. This is because when he corners our money, he's really not going to have anywhere else to go. But additionally, goes the same for our money because, you know, he can go ahead and try to set up some Gordo traps there at the ledge, tossing it right up. And uh, Gerald Phantasma is going to have to be smart to not get caught. Yeah. Neither of these two are really comboing each other too hard. Both of them just kind of hitting each other out of hit stun. Trying to make something happen. In the S where you're talking about the laser just hits back the Gordo. He tries to doing a gro Gordo drop setup, but it doesn't matter if you can just hit it back immediately with something knocked oh, in the middle. There goes the setup. Down smash, catching that roll. Not quite going to get the stock, but doing it one more time. Dash attack, going to catch him as well, jumping. Yeah, he's uh, getting a little bit finicky on the ledge there every time there's a Gordo available. So Armani doing a good job on the ledge trap so far, already taking out that stock. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. It's actually very difficult to get away from the DDD setups. It's either you take the Gordo hit and then reset the whole situation by getting back to that ledge if you don't die from the Gordo, or try to pick a defensive option and just hope the DDD does not catch you. Yeah, but that time Armani was great with the coverage, and there we go. The inhale sends the Gordo a little bit faster, so it makes it a bit harder to react. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the hammer, just real quick. <laughs> oh boy, that was, I was not expecting a jet hammer today, but uh, we, uh, we can't open it with the three stop. Thank <laughs> yeah. you, All right. thank you. Finally, gonna get a tech chase down smash, cover both sides, but so far our money is looking wow. like he's in complete dominance of the set. So the invincibility was still there, and then because he put up a shield, he was able to go ahead and get that parry. Then he ate the laser at that too. 55 on Gerald Phantasma. Oh, he has to be careful. Another Gordo setup, down smash, catch on the roll. One more time. Yeah, I feel like history is repeating itself here. He tried to go for a pure dash attack instead of resetting the Gordo situation, but he's got plenty of life to work with. This is a character like DDD. Like, he's going to be living for a really long time. Back here, not quite going to land. We went for another inhale, dropping it right there. But right now, Gerald Fitzgerald, Gerald Phantasma is just looking very scared, and he did not know where to land, getting caught by that up smash, and our money getting that first game. I think a good thing that Armani was doing is that he was just denying Gerald's opportunity to try and start offense. You saw he was trying to go in for a short hop, trying to go in for a full hop, get an aerial going, and be able to combo something with Wolf. But every time he just either threw out a Gordo or just a quick jump fair and it just stuffed him out every time. So he made him more hesitant and then he started playing more defensively. But that's where Armani is able to start applying pressure with DDD and the Gordos that he was looking really for. Really, I don't. Gerald isn't playing with a lot of confidence. He didn't really feel like. These hits are going to land. These hits are going to give me some, some, something substantial. I'm going to put him in disadvantage. He was more so just trying to toss stuff out and hoping something would happen. Yeah. And already that, you see the wolf is going away. We're going with the Palutena now. I do like this pick. He's going to have access to the reflector. Additionally, that auto reticle is going to be a great tool. Mm -hmm. See how it starts out. Nair out of shield. Now we got the cutscene going in. About 50% already starting off the bat. Oh, there goes the Nair. Oh, they're going to be another grab. Try to look for that up tilt instead. But Gerald looking a lot cleaner with this Palutena until he ate that back air immediately, and there we have it, a counter. I do like the choice of going with the Palutena. He, she has some long-lasting hitboxes as well, just able to catch on the juggles, and just able to attack on more damage as well. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Gerald as Palutena. DDD's head actually pokes up just a tiny bit when he's recovering. If you're able to time that down tilt correctly, you're able to pop him back up and get a punish. Back there we'll be able to do it, though. Our money kind of getting a little bit greedy there at the ledge. Gerald able to get a reversal. This looks so much more fluid with Palutena. Where was Palutena game one? <laughs> I don't know, man. He just he just really had faith in the wolf. But uh, I mean, at least that uh, Gerald has a type of character to switch back to in case uh, you know the matchup like this where he doesn't feel as comfortable in. So yeah. Palutena doing some good work right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jumping away from that, having access to the platforms above there, he feels a lot more confident to get away from these Gordo setups. Auto Radical putting up that shield and just jumping away immediately. He's really just playing that poke and go type of game plan now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the Palutena, he's playing a lot more patient, but he's doing it in a way where he's not really uh, afraid to start offense when he has the opportunity to. So he's doing a good job of spacing right around and then making our money the one that has to try and approach and commit to something. And just like that, we're looking at a potential uh, last stock situation for our money if he can get the stock real soon. No, no, this is a complete 180 from what just happened in game one. The Palutena is making all the difference. Comes a possible back air? No, he does not go for the reverse area rush. Try to go for that forward air? Not mm -hmm. quite going to hit. Oh, oh that's he, a big punish. Yeah, yeah, he didn't tilt the explosive flame. He accidentally smash sticked it, so... Not quite going to be able to do it to grab correctly. Yeah. I mean, also just doing it a little bit too close. you got to have the right spacing or understand that your opponent is a little bit laggy or in disadvantage at that point. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, just out of shield. And Nairs is doing a, such a good job against a big body like DDD. Catches him every time. Ooh. Okay. Corno actually getting it from behind Palutena at that. Yeah, and still locked him forward. Up smash possibly? No, I was looking for these back airs. Tossing out that shield. The shield connecting with the dash attack, but still not enough to get the stock. Mm -hmm. And this is what we should have been seeing uh, in game one, too. Like DDD having a really hard time coming back from the ledge. <gasps> oh! Already? Back, back throw him off. Set him up the situation again. Yeah. Send him right back off stage. I don't blame him. Look at that time the aerial didn't come out. Looks like he wasn't expecting to go. Here we have our money sitting at 185 counter. Okay. Send that thing right back. Dash attack? No, this penguin's still living. There we go. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just at the ledge, DDD, not the greatest time, but at the extension he has the, the Gordo setups too. But our money now is the one that looks like he's not quite playing at 100% confidence just because Palutena out, out of shield can do so much more damage against a character like DDD. I mean, Gerald just recognized that he, he just can't be the first one to hit that button. He can't be the one to initiate the approach options. Yeah. Because the way our money is playing, he just wants to try to limit the first thing you do. But when you, he's playing a little more loot neutral and, you know, Gerald's just not ready for it right now. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, it's, it's amazing when you just sit back and wait for your opponent to do something, how quickly the tides change. Ooh, that was actually sick. <laughs> Got the little uh, roll on the platform, too. Potential ledge setup here, but again, just the... Uh, I think a big thing, too, is that the tel... Oh, okay. The teleport recovery does a really great job of just making sure that he doesn't have the opportunity or the time to get the Gordo drop setups for the ledge traps. So, Gerald, quick reversal. A two-stock right there, too. So, two-stock both sides. Yep. There we have it, the decisive game three. Now I'm assuming the Pelotana is gonna stay in play, but are we gonna see our money possibly switch characters? That matchup was looking rough. Yeah. Although if if our money is who I think he is, he probably only plays heavies. He doesn't have an answer for Palutena. He's just scratching his head. And you know what? Just stick with the DDD. Have fun. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's getting the water first. No, no, no. That's just water. That's just water. What, if you see someone start circling around the character select, that's when you know they're oh, yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah, it. True, true, true. But no. All right. With the DDD. Loyalist to the end. Potentially. We'll have to see. Hmm. Smashville. It's very... Well, Town and City. It's iffy. Oh, yeah. Town and City. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Animal see, Crossing. They, yeah, they yeah. zoomed in too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Town and City I like a lot more. Uh, I mean, that's good because he's making sure he doesn't die off the top. Mm -hmm. Very soon, especially with Palutena's up air. And since he's such a heavy, he's going to live forever. Right. But, uh, you know, when the platforms are on lock, Palutena's going to have a field day, li really limiting the options that Armadi can take in terms of landing. And then he. Ooh! Oh, he landed on it! <laughs> wow. Yo, the stretching? Wow. I Get him out of here. It was obviously calculated. He obviously meant oh, to dude, do that. Of 100%. course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Yo, shout crazy. out to G Pick because I know he's furious if he ever sees this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I miss you, GPEG. Anyways, here we go. Another less uh, less setup. Going in, forcing him into shield with the Gordo drop that time around. And all of a sudden, yeah, he's, he's down to stocks, and now Gerald is going to have to really start some aggression. And I think that's where our money can be able to play back to his game that he was playing on game one. Yeah, I mean, hopefully he can stay composed. I mean, yes, it is your very first stock, but it was very early. You still have time and a chance to go ahead and turn this all the way around. But right now, our money is just riding out the momentum, catching the teleport with that dash attack. Catch this belly. Yeah, not looking too good right now. I think, oh, no. uh, I think oh, OK, when you get caught by the inhales, <laughs> too, is done. Yeah. Let me get a three stock. Make it happen. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. The momentum oh, is that apparently <laughs> swinging. Oh boy. Literally. All right, Gerald, you still got a little bit of time. You got six minutes on the clock. There's no way that you can. Don't end out on the three stock on the, on the first match of this wave. Come on. Come on, be like Spider Man. Everybody gets one. Yeah. All right, how do you come back, back here? <laughs> Just trying to find something to close out the stock. But our money doing a good job on the survivability, too. Town and City does have the tallest ceiling. Oh, we have Ooh. a down smash, but the wind box actually making it difficult for our money to try to punish. Finds them right back off stage, going for that late. Neutral air. Mm -hmm. It's actually a really good option just because when DDD does it and he crosses you up, he can go ahead and just run right back out and he's safe. But if he does connect it, you actually don't get popped up really high so he can get a follow up with a possible up air or even forward air. Right. Gerald getting a little bit greedy. Doesn't, wasn't ready for the Gordo to come back to stage. Back throw. Will this do it? No. Yeah, I need the direct air dodge. City, man. Yeah. <laughs> so much shield damage. Fourth he's, th he's still okay, fine. Okay, okay, okay. There we okay, go. But yeah, down throw up there. Mm -hmm. Goes for a DI mix up that time around. 
Like, Gordo was just so menacing. He just watched it for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> All right. Hit um, a couple of these neutral airs. We have our money now sitting at 45, trading with a neutral air on his own. The forwarder coming out a little bit too late. Yeah, still trying to keep things going. Gerald starting to get things swinging back into his favor. Now yeah, he got himself in a hot situation. What can he do here? All right, yeah. Reset the situation. <gasps> he jumped out. He's like, okay, okay, okay. No, no treadmills this time. It was around. close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, backer. Not enough. Gerald is cooking here at this ledge. Hopefully, he can get this stock. Beautiful parry, but no punish on there. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> he led into the Gordo as well. But yeah. Our money now sitting at 147. Has to be careful. <gasps> Woo, that was really scary. Oh, that's really scary too. But the dash tag puts him off stage one more time. Man, and even after this, Gerald still has one more stock to get through to try and take the set. It looks like it's oh, not going to like not gonna get it. Ah, overextending, but beautiful forward tilt punish coming off from our money. You know, I actually really love our money. He deliberately used the Gordo up there to try to just stop it and then try to inhale it, but he's a little bit too late to get that. Dash Attack finally able to do it. Hey, we got ourselves a match here. Yeah, it was an A. Oh, oh boy, that would have been a way to go if he just got hit by Dash Attack clean off of the Angel platform. I, I respect it. It's kind of like Bayonetta's when they drop down, immediately use a Smash Attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very true. Back air. No. Not up to this. Oh, the platform. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh but he dropped Get it a little down. bit too early. Oh, uh, well, that's the set right there. And that one stock. That.